Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to grow your email list on your MemberPress website with the MemberPress MailChimp add-on. I'll show you how to install the add-on and get your MailChimp account connected, so once someone signs up for your site or buys a membership, they can be added to your MailChimp mailing list. Once everything's all set up, you'll be able to decide exactly who gets what email campaigns that you send out. Maybe you want to share updates and helpful info, run special sales, or entice inactive members to sign up. You can do all that and more with the MemberPress MailChimp integration. Now, this is the first video of three that will go over how to set up the MailChimp add-on. In this video, you'll see how to install the add-on, create an audience, and get members added to it. In part two, we'll see how to add users to your list per membership, so you can group them together for campaigns. And in the third video, you'll see how to segment your audience and target them in email campaigns. Before you get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed in your WordPress site and you'll need a MailChimp account. And I have mine opened up in this tab right here. So first, you'll need to install the MemberPress MailChimp add-on. To do that, go to MemberPress, here on the left sidebar, WordPress, and Add-ons. And then search for, or just find MailChimp here. And then click to install and activate the add-on. Once it's activated, next, I'll head to my MailChimp account to create my audience. An audience in MailChimp is a list of contacts and their information that you gather, so think of it as a collection of people that you can send emails to. And just note, the MemberPress MailChimp add-on only supports one audience, but in part two of the video series, you'll see how to use what are called merge tags to group contacts in your audience together to send emails to each of them, like different membership levels on your site, for example. Okay, so here on my MailChimp dashboard, to create an audience, go to Audience, Audience Dashboard, and then click Create Audience. Next, give your audience a name. I'll name mine All Members, since I'm going to be building my email list for members who purchase memberships on my MemberPress website. You can name yours Members, Contacts, All Contacts, All Users, whatever you want. We recommend keeping this name pretty generic to avoid confusing it with any merge tags that you set up later for individual memberships. Okay, and then here next, enter the from email and name you want your emails to be sent from. So I'll go ahead and enter my email and my name. And then next, you see this text box for a reminder. You can enter a message reminding people of how they wound up on your mailing list. Entering a message here might help your emails from getting ignored or confused as spam. Next, you see form settings. These are handled by the MailChimp add-on in MemberPress, so just leave these unchecked. And then here, you can choose what notifications you get about this audience. So just read through these and click the checkbox to enable whatever ones you want. And then once all this is filled out, click here to save the audience. And then once it's saved, you'll see your audience name here. And eventually, all your contacts that are added to this audience will be listed out here too. And to get back to this page to view your audience, you can just click all contacts here under audience. So now that your audience is created, the next thing you need to do is create a global merge tag. Once a user is assigned to your audience, they'll be also assigned to a merge tag, which is how MailChimp tracks who gets what emails. See MailChimp's explainer on merge tags for more information on what they are and exactly how they work. Okay, so to create a merge tag, right here on your audience page, go to settings and audience fields and merge tags. And here's where you can create all your merge tags for this audience. So to do that, scroll down and click Add a Field. And then select Text. And you just want to be sure that you choose Text, since it is the only type of merge tag field the MemberPress add-on supports. And then you'll see the new merge tag field added here. So give yours a name. I'll name mine Members. Since again, this is going to be set as our global merge tag that all site members will be added to. And then for this new merge tag, just make sure the required and visible checkboxes for it are turned off. Also, just note, the MailChimp add-on can only receive a user's email and first and last name from a membership registration form. So here, you want to make sure none of these other fields are set to be required. If, say, the address field is set to be required by mistake, it'll cause issues and your members won't be added to your list properly. So here, nothing is set to required. And I'll leave the first and last name set to visible and make sure nothing else is set to be required or visible, including my new merge tag that I'm making. And once all that's set and your merge tag field is added, 
click Save Changes here at the bottom. And now your merch tag saved. So now that we have an audience and a merch tag created in MailChimp, now it's time to hook it all up to MemberPress. So I'm going to go back to my WordPress dashboard to set up the add-on. So from here, if you go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Marketing tab, you'll see this option here to enable MailChimp, and it's been added since installing the add-on. So click to enable it, and you'll see some options to fill out. So first, you need to enter your MailChimp API key. To do that, go back to your MailChimp account, and then click your profile avatar, and then go to Account and Billing. Then click Extras and API Keys. Now, depending on if you have other API keys already created, your screen might look a little bit different if you've never created an API key before. So here you can see I've already created some keys in the past, but either way, just click Create a Key to create a new one. And then give it a name. Now, you're only gonna use one API key for MemberPress, and you'll create separate API keys for other services. So I'm just gonna keep things simple and name mine MemberPress. And then click here to generate an API key. And then you'll see one generated for you. So just click here to copy it. And at this point, paste it somewhere for safekeeping, like a text file or a Notion or something like that. For security reasons, MailChimp doesn't let you copy the API key past this point. So if you lose it or it doesn't copy, you'll have to create another one. So once you copy your API key, click Done. And then go back to WordPress. And here in the Marketing tab of the Settings, I'll paste the API key right here. And if you wait a moment, you should see and notice that everything's chimpy. Okay, next, select your audience that you created in MailChimp. And I can see mine's already listed here. So just make sure that it's the audience that you created earlier. And then select the global merch tag that you just created here. So I'll select Members, which is the merch tag that I made in MailChimp. So how this is working is that everyone is assigned to your audience, which is your email list of sorts, but we're assigning people to a merge tag too, which is gonna be used to choose which emails go out to who. And again, in the next video in the series, we'll see how to assign different membership levels to different merge tags, so you can target them for different email campaigns. But for now, all site members will be added to this global merge tag called members. And then moving along, right here, you can select if you want users to opt into your emails in a certain way. The first one will send users an email with a confirmation link that they have to click to be added to your list. And the second option here displays an opt-in checkbox on your registration pages that they have to check to be added to your list. So I'm gonna use this opt-in checkbox to show you what that looks like on a registration page. And when my members are buying memberships, I want them to have the choice to sign up to my mailing list when they're making a purchase. And then here you can change what text appears next to the opt-in checkbox if you want to. So once all this is set, click Update Options to save everything. Okay, and when it saves, now my MailChimp account's connected to my MemberPress website. So to make sure it's working and to show you what it looks like, I'm gonna open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. If you're not familiar with it, opening your site in an incognito window will let you view your site like you're a brand new visitor, which comes in handy for testing. And then for my homepage, I'll go to Sign Up, and then I'll click to sign up for a membership. And a good thing to note is that I do have my Stripe payment gateway in test mode, so I can create fake test transactions on my site. So if you're doing this process on your site, just make sure your Stripe payment gateway is in test mode. So I'll go ahead and fill out my registration with some sample test information that I just make up. So notice that I'm entering an email and a first and last name to sign up, which will get sent to MailChimp. So I'm just going to use MailChimp test one at email.com. And then I'll use some test credit card info, because again, I'm in test mode. And here is the opt-in checkbox. So as the test user, I'll click here to opt-in and be put on the email list. And then I'll click to sign up. And I can see the sign up went through. So this user is all signed up for my site, and they have a membership. Now I'll close this incognito window. And then I'll go back into my MailChimp account. So I'm gonna show you how this test user was added to the merge tag and the audience list. So I'll go to audience and all contacts. 
And then I'll make sure I'm in my correct audience right here. And now you can see that my user was added to my audience. MailChimp test one at email. And their first and last name. And here under members, it says one. This indicates that they're added to my members merge tag. One means that they're added and zero would mean that they weren't. So they'll get any emails that are meant to go to this merge tag. So the MailChimp add-on's working. And just know that this is adding anyone who signs up for my site to my global audience. And they'll stay in the audience until they unsubscribe using the unsubscribe button on one of my emails. If you want to see how to set up per membership merge tags so you can further segment and target your audience, check out part two of this series. So if you want to send emails to only those who paid you or who have an active subscription to a certain membership, be sure to check out the next video. And that's it. You've now seen how to install the MailChimp add-on and add your user signups to a global merch tag in MailChimp. Also, see your knowledge base page on the MemberPress MailChimp add-on for more information. Also, be sure to follow the MemberPress blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on all things MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.